Hello everyone. I want to do a quick overview of Loop MIDI and its capabilities to send MIDI data from one application to another. Specifically, this is for the new version of Guitar Pro 8 and how to set that up to either send into a standalone or a uh, DAW application. For this, the very first thing that you're going to need to do is to download Loop MIDI. If you Google Loop MIDI, it'll come up to Tobias Erickson's site. Just download here. You want to make sure that this is downloaded and installed prior to using it or to opening up one of the applications. That way it will definitely see it when it opens. When you load it, it'll pop open this window. It'll initially be blank. You just click the plus button here to add a port. Since I already did, I don't need that second port. I'm just going to delete that one. But this needs to be installed and have a port added before you open up an application. To start, I actually work in Guitar Pro 8, and I want to let you see what this looks like. Um, just as an aside, I got You Shook Me All Night Long from a site called uh, theguitarlesson.com. This site actually has a lot of free uh, guitar profiles. The issue with it is if you don't have yourself added to share it on either Facebook or Twitter, you have to wait 20 seconds every time you download a file. Not a big deal. I downloaded this file. This is what is in Guitar Pro 8. And when you shift over to the application, when you first open it, it actually looks like this. It's on song and it's just playing here. I have soloed the track for the lead and here's what it sounds like. I'm not sure if this will play well on my capture software. So you can watch it playing. What it's doing, and in order to enable loop it MIDI, the first thing you need to do is to go to track, and it'll actually say RSE, that's what it's using right now. Shift it over to MIDI. As long as loop MIDI is loaded before you do that, it'll appear here. It'll, it goes to Microsoft uh, Windows uh, GS table, I think is what it is, or the GS that's sent. Um, so make sure that it's set to here. Now what happens is this data is going out of here. And what I'm doing is I'm sending this into, I'm sending this into uh, Ample Sound Standalone. To set up Ample Sound, you need to go into the gear icon up here and say, enable that same MIDI port. This becomes your input for the software. So when you go into Ample Sound, now what it's doing is it'll play here, but it's routing the information into the standalone application. So it's got significantly more volume because it has the amp assigned to it. So this is really much more of a guitar simulation. So that's how to do it to work with Guitar Pro 8 and sending it into Ample Sound in its standalone application. The next I'll show you is I'll show you how to insert that into Cakewalk. In order to do that, I'm going to close this down since I don't want to use this anymore. So in Cakewalk, what I've done is I've added in an instrument track, the same vintage cherry from Ample Sound. As soon as you have Loop MIDI, in order for that to show up, you have to go into edit and your preferences. And what you'll see here is for your MIDI devices, you have to enable MIDI input from Loop MIDI. That's all you have to do. And now the MIDI is now coming in. Click OK. With this inserted now, Loop MIDI has to be your input for your MIDI. And I just left it at Omni. If you go back into uh, Guitar Pro, I think that this was on channels three and four, and channel three actually will pick up the guitar, but it's the same, it's the same deal. When you go back into this and play, now it's playing through cable. So that's how you get it to play in Cakewalk. So if you want to work in Guitar Pro and have Cakewalk actually play it for you, this is how to do it. Next, I'll show you how to do it in Studio One. And to do that, I'm going to close out of this. I want to save. So this is Studio One 6. I've inserted the same thing. I've actually inserted the MIDI tracks in here, so I isolated just a application of Vintage Cherry. 
What's interesting with Studio One is if you go into Options, I don't have any external uh, controllers connected. What I did is I added in Loopy at one point. I said, this does not work. If you add in a new uh, instrument, okay, here's Loopy. It says it's not connected. And what I didn't realize, what I didn't realize with this, even though this is not connected, if I edit this, receive from loop MIDI port. So without the controller connected, it's still receiving this MIDI data and sending it into the application, even though there's no keyboard connected to the machine. To enter, enable loop MIDI here, all you have to do is just say, here's my Roland uh, A300 Pro. Loop MIDI port is going into all the channels and set it up like this. This is what I'm going to use. Say OK here. So now if I say here, what's my input controller here? Ample sound. There's my guitar. That's the output of it. And then um, my MIDI input is the Pro, A100 Pro. And now if I go back to this again and play, it's playing. So I just wanted to point that out with Studio One Six is the loop MIDI actually has to go through a controller, even if it's not connected. So I thought that was fairly interesting and frustrating at first, but that was really what I want to show you. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. But that's a way to get Guitar Pro Eight to send information via loop MIDI to other applications or a standalone app. So that will allow you to work in Guitar Pro Eight and hear a better sound than what's what's included with the software. And that's all I had for you. Thanks a lot.